Once upon a time, in the early days, there appeared planets of sweetness in the galaxy. The planet ice cream was covered in a pure, cool and refreshing white colour. Houses and trees were formed from gigantic ice cream cones. Every princess of the ice cream planet had the magical power to shoot ice, freezing everything around. Hmm. <laughs> Among them, Beva had superior powers. She could create thick layers of ice, ward off the heat of the sun and protect the planet. Next to the planet ice cream stood the planet candy. The planet candy dazzled people with its vibrant and colourful candies. A gentle river of chocolate flowed around everything. The houses and landscapes were made of various sweet treats. As you passed through, you could hear the joyful sound of popping candies. Shadi, the leader of the planet, had the yeah. ability to transform everything into delightful <laughs> sweet treats. The neighbor of the candy planet was the planet Cake. The planet Cake exuded a simple and pure beauty where the houses were made of cookies, biscuits and sponge cakes. The air carried a sweet aroma of freshly baked cakes, and in the distance you could hear the delightful sound of cake bells. Princess Yana possessed the magic to seal everything within an invisible thread. <laughs> Lastly, there was the planet Pudding radiating smoothness and gentleness. From the sky to the ground, everything was soft and tender. Ari, the pudding princess, had the ability to soften even the hardest things, making them tender and delicate. However, these planets did not get along well with each other, which made it easier for evil forces to invade. The planet Candy was the first target of the ant tribe, who had poisonous legs that caused damage to all the sweets. Princess Shardy tried to use her powers to protect the planet, but failed to defeat them. Shardy decided to seek help from the other planets, but received cold rejections. Upon returning to her planet and seeing the devastation, Shadi burst into tears. It's all because of me. I'm utterly useless for not being able to protect my own planet. Princess, don't blame yourself. We'll always be by your side. In the past, my older sister Kari was the most powerful. But since she became the queen, she only sent letters saying she wouldn't fulfill her mission in another land. I've tried every means to contact her, but I couldn't find her. Just then, the news of the intergalactic beauty pageant spread. Huh? Another beauty pageant? Isn't my sister the reigning queen? That's strange. I must participate to meet the Queen and find answers about my sister. The day of the beauty pageant arrived, and all the princesses <laughs> gathered in the hall of the Galaxy Kingdom. Everyone was dressed splendidly, while Shadi wore an old dress. People mocked and jeered at her. The official competition began, and the host introduced the various rounds. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Galaxy Peace Queen Pageant. The competition consists of three rounds. Evening Gown Showcase, Talent Round, and Question and Answer Round. Those who advance to the third round will have a direct audience with the Queen of the Galaxy, Apora. That's right. I have to meet the Queen to inquire about my sister's whereabouts. I must make it to the third round. <laughs> Shadi quietly observed while waiting for the contestants to get ready for the first round. How can I win this round? They are all so beautiful. Give up! No matter how hard you try, it's useless. 
The host started calling the names of each contestant. The evening gown showcase round is about to begin. The first contestant is from the ice cream planet, Beva. The second contestant is from the cake planet. The third contestant is from the pudding planet. And Shadi is the final catwalk contestant. Finally, the princess from the candy planet has arrived. Shadi! Her dress is so ugly. Does she have any other dress? Hers is older than mine. At the same time, the other contestants were returning to their positions. Sorry, I must make it to the next round. <gasps> she quietly transformed candies to disrupt the performances of the other contestants without anyone noticing. The princesses sitting on the stage were shocked and cried out in pain. And of course, Shadi received the highest score in the first round. The second round is the talent round. Contestants, please prepare your most outstanding performances. First up, let's welcome contestant Beva. Beva stepped forward. Suddenly, the lights went out. On the stage, there was only one spotlight shining on Beva, making her stand out. Her feet glided gracefully, as if she were wearing ice skates. Beva could even create ice from her hands. I'm sorry, Beva. As Beva approached the wings, unexpectedly, a candy stick pricked her foot. Feeling embarrassed, Beva gave up on her performance. And the next contestant, Yana! Yana began her performance. Strands of pasta gracefully flew through the air from her sleeves and twirled around Yana like a whirlwind. Jana, forgive me. Suddenly, a long candy bar flew towards Yana. Yana got confused and the strands of pasta entangled her like a mummy. Huh? Yana decided to give up on her performance. Next up, contestant Ari! Ari performed a dance routine on giant puddings. The soft puddings acted as springboards, propelling Ari from one side to the other. Ari, uh, I have no other choice. Ari stumbled and small pudding cubes fell on her head. Ari quickly gave up as well. There's no need to argue. At the end of the round, once again, Shardy secured the highest score. The winner of the second round is Shardy! <laughs> the final round, the question and answer session came and Shadi was taken to meet Queen Epora. It was a special room where Shadi couldn't see the Queen's appearance. Hello, Queen Epora. I've been wanting to meet you for a long time. Run away. It's the Queen's <gasps> trap. Startled, Shadi rushed to pull the curtain forcefully. Sister! Run! She's coming! The queen has been kidnapping the most beautiful huh? and talented girls to absorb their life force and remain forever young! Huh? Huh? It's too late now! Apora rushed forwards and cast a spell on Shadi, rendering her unable to move, her whole body frozen. Ah! You monster! You'll never be beautiful by carrying an evil heart! I will defeat you! Ha 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 How will you do that? Like this? After their failed performances, the princesses began to suspect something was wrong. They secretly followed Shadi to the Queen's room to find the truth. 
They listen to Shadi's story and Kari's revelation about the evil Queen Ipora. <laughs> Shardy, you played dirty because you realized the contest had issues, just like the mysterious disappearance of our sister. We will help you protect Carrie and fight against her. <laughs> Your imitations don't talk too much! <gasps> Yana shot out strands of pasta that tightly wrapped around Apora, immobilizing her. Immediately, Beva quickly shot ice blocks to encase Apora. Without hesitation, Shadi transformed into a candy rocket and forced herself inside. Finally, Ari turned into a pudding launch pad, ending the battle. Shadi and the princesses brought Kari back to the candy planet. Together, they helped Kari regain her original appearance. Huh? <laughs> People from different planets came to celebrate with the Candy Planet. They all joined forces to repair and restore the Sweet Planet after the attack of the Ant Tribe. Thus, the Candy Planet was revived and adorned itself with a sweet and enchanting beauty once again. From then on, the four planets, ice cream, candy, cake and pudding, lived peacefully, creating a sparkling and beautiful galaxy. And so, our story ends here. Please click the subscribe button for more wonderful and heartwarming stories on Woe Fairy Tale. Wonderland was inhabited by the most magical creatures in ancient legends. It had a long green forest and a clear four-season waterfall. Among those magical creatures, there was a mermaid, possessing a wonderfully beautiful iridescent tail, living in the river. Every day, when dawn had just come, the mermaid came very early and waited on the cliff on the river. She waited for the man of her dreams, Unicorn. Unicorn was the strongest species in the region, with its silvery silver horns and distinctive white wings. Every time he reflected on the river under a large waterfall, Unicorn turned into a handsome prince, making the hearts of the fairies around go crazy. <laughs> Unicorn is here! Oh, I'm willing to drown in your beauty! Ah, no way! He must be mine! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Unicorn Day 147. Today you are all so beautiful. Who's that? <gasps> He's probably already gone. Mermaid turned her feelings and emotions into songs to confess herself. Mm. Huh? Huh? When Unicorn huh? heard it, he was moved and fascinated by the sweet voice. Huh? Unicorn hmm. wanted to make friends with the mermaid even further. Since then, every day the unicorn and the mermaid met and told each other interesting huh? stories that they knew. <laughs> the stronger feelings they had, the more they wanted to be close to each other, despite the difference in race, one on the shore, the other in the water. Hmm? Hmm. Mermaid wanted to fly far with Unicorn, beyond even the tallest trees in the forest, to see directly what she was only known through stories. She defied the advice of the village elders and went to meet the jungle beast who lived by the river. The jungle beast was described as extremely cruel and cunning, but she held most of the spells that the fairy world was forbidden to use, including body transformation charms. Oh, look, who dares to disturb my thousand-year slumber? Mrs. Jungle Beast, I know I should not bother you, but there is one thing that perhaps only you can help me with. Stupid girl, you seem to have confused me with annoying fairies. Go away before I turn you into a grilled fish. Please have mercy on my love with a unicorn. <gasps> I'm just kidding. All right, so what's the matter with you and the unicorn? I'm willing to listen. The mermaid begged the jungle beast to turn her iridescent tail into legs, so she could walk on land. Oh yes, 
But there has to be something exchanged for the magic to happen. How about all of the unicorn's memories of you? Mermaid worried, hesitant to agree. Don't you believe in your love? If the love is big enough, you will definitely make the unicorn remember easily. You are beautiful, and you sing well. What's difficult for him to fall in love with you again? And if the two of you are separated like you are now, no matter how much you love, one day the unicorn will find it difficult, and he will fall in love with someone else. The mermaid was so scared, she immediately agreed. After having human-like legs, the mermaid happily left the river and went ashore to find the unicorn. She nervously imagined what kind of expression the unicorn would have when he saw her, how happy they would be together. <laughs> Just that, the more she hoped, the more disappointed she became. Because the unicorn couldn't remember anything, he happily <laughs> chatted with another girl on the side of the road. The mermaid ran to explain that she was the lover of the unicorn. She told about their memories, but the unicorn didn't believe it at all. Only then did the mermaid realize the terrible effect of the swap curse. She desperately wanted to explain more when the girl next to the unicorn interrupted. Hey girl, where did you come from? Don't you hear that he said he didn't know you? I am your girlfriend. Huh? Every fairy in this forest knows it all. Huh? Unicorn, you must believe me. You forget me just because of the curse. Release him. Huh? You hurt him. Is it because huh? of you? Because you enchanted him with amnestics? There's no way he could be so cold to me. That's enough. Huh? I don't know who you are, but you're saying such mm. weird, absurd things. You've been rude to my friend, mm. so please get out of here, quickly. <laughs> How can this be? Just yesterday, you promised to be with me forever. The mermaid sadly realized that feelings must be built on memories. Losing memories, love also disappeared. <laughs> she regretfully returned to the riverbank to meet the jungle beast, begging her to return everything to the way it was. In response to her plea was the jungle beast's cold words. Things exchanged with magic cannot be returned. I know you will have a way. The most powerful woman in the land, there is nothing you can't do. Please help me. I don't need my legs anymore. I just want Unicorn to remember me. All right, seeing you pitiful, I will break the rules. The required item for the magic to work is the silver Unicorn horns. Unicorn horns? Without it, how can he survive? No, I can't. Oh my, what's so serious? It's just decoration. The unicorn wouldn't even recognize that he lost his horns, trust me. Convinced by the beast, the mermaid agreed. The jungle beast gave the mermaid a bag of talismans. She just needed to open the bag and the unicorn would sleep soundly. With the same magic talisman, if it was put on the horns of the unicorn, the horns would fall off on their own, without feeling any pain or anything. After completing the task, the mermaid brought the horns to the jungle beast to make the exchange as promised. On the way back, she encountered the scene of the jungle beast and the henchmen who captured the forest fairies. <laughs> I finally waited until today, the day of annexing this wonderland. In your dream, the Unicorn Prince will definitely save us. The one dreaming is you. Whether your handsome prince can wake up or not, go and ask his little lover. Aha, that reminds me. I have to thank her so much. I've been waiting for this day for so long. If there is the power of the Unicorn, I cannot cast magic spells. That brat dared to lock me in a sea. Now watch this. He lost consciousness. Who can stop me? <laughs> Mermaid was extremely afraid and regretful. She accidentally caused a great disaster to the person she loved as well as everyone. Instead of falling, the mermaid realized it was her responsibility to save them all. She hurriedly brought the unicorn horns back, restoring everything before it was too late. However, Things were not as easy as Mermaid thought. No matter how many times she tried to put the horns on, they couldn't return to their original state. While being helpless, the Mermaid remembered reading about the effects of Mermaid Tears. Everything in the world, no matter how they were broken, they can be healed by Mermaid Tears? 
<laughs> it's just that after shedding tears, the mermaid won't be able to see anything anymore. Oh, there's no way I would make such a trade-off. I used to think that nothing in the world could make me cry, even if you don't realize me or drive me away. I was wrong. As long as you wake up, I'm ready to trade everything. Suffering surged, mermaid sobbed, and tears poured down. When touching the horns placed on the unicorn's forehead, these tears became like glue, causing the horns to stick. The unicorn slowly opened his eyes and woke up. Huh? Huh? What happened? You are... You... you're awake! The seal! It's broken! Realizing that the seal was broken, he immediately flew off to find the jungle beast. The magic of Unicorn was weaker after he woke up. The jungle beast used all her strength to create dark clouds, causing the sky to turn black, sending down huge lightning bolts. The Unicorn held a silver sword in his hand, emitting a dazzling light. He flew up, dodged the thunder, and cut through the dark night. In the end, dark clouds and thunder disappeared. Warm light returned. Ah! Ah, my eyes are blinded! When the jungle beast was not able to see anything, the unicorn galloped to destroy her. Screams echoed everywhere. The mermaid knew that the unicorn has successfully defended the land. She smiled sadly and made her way back to the river. Mermaid didn't know how she would be. The jungle beast had been defeated, but neither the fish tail nor the unicorn's memory of love had returned. The mermaid sat on the familiar rock where she first met the unicorn, recalling old memories. She was heartbroken, regretful, but still happy, because at least the person she loved was finally at peace. The mermaid passionately talking about her love memories. Tail turns into legs, old memories imprinted. If love isn't impressed, the mind had never gained. Unexpectedly, at that moment, the unicorn passed by. The voice held his steps. Huh? Ah! My head! Ah! The familiar melody made the fragmented, overlapping <laughs> memories slowly appear. He had completely remembered huh? all the memories with this dear girl. It's you! I already remembered! The unicorn happily huh? hugged the mermaid. Hmm. Do you remember who I really am? Is that true? You won't leave me anymore, will you? I'm so scared. It's me. I promise I'll never leave you again. Mm. Mermaid and unicorn were together, traveling everywhere. It's just a pity that your eyes will forever be unable to see anything anymore. Consider it as payment for the wrong I have done. Don't worry. I will become your eyes. Go around the world with you. Yes, we will be together forever. Once upon a time, there was a prince who overcame the king's challenge by climbing up a high tower and successfully saved the princess trapped at the top of the tower. She is called the Doomed Princess. But why did she get this name? Please join us to discover the whole story. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Princess, what made you lock yourself up at the top of this tower? Prince, thank you for saving me. First, let me tell you about the reason why I am locked up in this place. My father is the king of this kingdom, but... <sighs> But they tried to find the reason, but the old king and queen did not know why they couldn't have any children. This misfortune always made the king and queen have feelings of self-pity. They pray every day, longing to have a baby to fulfill their desire to be parents. After a long time witnessing the sincerity in each prey, one day the goddess of fate appeared in the king's dream to announce. Knowing your heart and what you two have contributed, 
I will break the rules and give you two a gift. Not long later, the queen suddenly got pregnant. <laughs> but from that day, the king gradually neglected to pray, and this really disappointed the goddess of fate. Just a few months later, the queen went into labor earlier than expected. The royal physicians could only <laughs> save the life of the little princess. About the queen, she no longer had the strength to hold on to life on earth. And the king, once again, dreamed of the goddess of fate. You got a gift, then you dared lose your faith and neglected my image? Is that your gratitude to your goddess? Even though the queen had to pay with her life, it was still not enough. Remember this, one day not too far away, a dog, a snake, and a crocodile will take the princess's life. After the dream, the king rushed to build a tall tower for his newborn daughter in the middle of a forest which was completely separated from society. Eighteen years have passed. The lovely princess became a beautiful young lady. She became more and more beautiful, but always carried a lonely, melancholy image on her face. She feels more and more lonely in this place. Maybe I should find someone reliable and strong enough to protect her in the future. As long as a brave man who is able to overcome difficulties to climb this tower and ensure her safety in the future, he will be eligible to be a consort. It must be like that. Many nobles came here to propose. <clears throat> but none of them were able to reach and free the princess. Huh? Huh. One day, a handsome prince arrived in this country. So this is the tower where the princess is kept. As a prince, how can I ignore this terrible thing? Let's go, boy! However, the prince, after learning that this place strictly <gasps> forbids the existence of dogs, had to hide his close friend. The prince then surpassed other opponents with his ability, quickly overcoming the challenge of facing a handsome, talented person who is not afraid of difficulties. Huh? The princess was quickly attracted. That's how the princess met the destiny man of her life. Witnessing the prince's ability and strength, the king felt very satisfied. He decided to hold a solemn wedding ceremony right at the palace. Right on the wedding night, when our princess returned to her room as she was too tired, a strange snake suddenly appeared at her window with bloodlust eyes. I am your destiny. We finally meet. Right at that moment when the princess's life was hanging by a thousand pounds, a black shadow swiftly passed. It was the companion of the prince. The hunting dog promptly huh? saved the life of our princess just in time. At that moment, the king and prince together stepped in the room due to the princess's huh? screams. Stand still! Huh? Are you okay? Did he hurt you? Honestly, this dog is my best friend. He has been with me, surpassing many difficulties. I intentionally left him outside the castle, but perhaps he smelled the danger and rushed here. I'm sorry. Huh? No, a sorry is not enough. Its appearance threatens my daughter's life. Soldiers, bring these two creatures out and give them instant kill. The prince was unable to let his close friend be killed. He frantically begged. Your majesty, please spare him a life. The princess now regained her composure. She looked at the prince and turned to the king. Father, this dog saved my life anyway. You have also seen it. Can't you spare his life? Instead of taking him to execution, we can let my husband take him home. We won't have to worry anymore. All right, consider it as atonement. Just do as you say, the sooner the better. Yes. Thank you so much. I will never forget this. We will prepare to depart early tomorrow morning. Early the next morning, on the way back to their hometown with the prince, the hunting dog suddenly turned weirdly. It seemed that we can see the evil snake image reappear on the dog somehow. Huh? Hey boy, what's happening? But then the dog suddenly spoke in a human language. I am the fate of the princess. Huh? 
There is a certain power from the snake that wants to possess my body. It wants me to become more bloodthirsty than ever. The dog's eyes turned bloodlust, just like the snake's eyes the night before. My prince, you need to return to save the princess immediately. Before it's too late, a monster has arrived. Huh? The young man heard that. He trusted his friend, then immediately turned away and rushed back to the castle. The prince returned to the castle and found the princess sitting next to a large lake playing with the fishes. <laughs> This lake has always been used for ornamental fish only. No other animals were allowed to live here. However, a huge alligator emerged from the water in front of the princess with bloodlust eyes. Before the appearance of the monster, the prince still bravely led his soldiers and rushed to fight to protect his wife. However, the strength of the alligator was too far exceeding that of humans. One huh? by one, each soldier was blown away. <clears throat> when the monster approached our princess with a fierce look, it made her too scared to even think about running away. I am your destiny. Let's finish everything. Thinking nothing of it, she decided to give up everything, accepting her fate. Everyone unconsciously huh? closed their eyes. They didn't want to see the bloodshed that was about to happen. No! No! Suddenly, a black shadow swiftly led to the sound of the crocodile struggling with the dog's growl, which made everyone curious to open their eyes. As it turned out, the dog that the king ordered to be expelled had returned to save the princess again. After the battle ended, the dog heroically defeated the fierce crocodile to save the princess's life. But then he can no longer move anymore. <laughs> the princess could only watch her man screaming in pain. Suddenly, a woman appeared in mid-air. She was the goddess of fate. Princess, her doomed fate has incredibly disappeared. Miraculously, the one who changed your fate was you. This hunting dog, as well as the other two beasts, were given power and order to destroy your life. However, because the dog was moved as you begged to save his life, he tried to resist the order of the god and sacrificed his own life to save you one more time. This has absolutely never happened in history, but nothing is impossible. I will give you a small gift as a reward. <laughs> the reward of the goddess was to bring the brave dog back to life. Of course, no more red eyes or fate came to disturb our princess ever again. Wow, fairy tales.